G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I am here with Ian and we're going to minister to 10 people. So the first person I want to minister to is Rachel. So Rachel, the Lord shows me all of these sharp stones and they are in the, the river of God or they are in the ocean and with the tides that go back and forth, the, the rocks roll and all those sharp edges are being made smooth and just like the stones that are in the river, uh, the, the water runs over them and smooth those uh, rocks and I felt that the Lord says that he is putting you in a tumultuous situation so that he can smooth you and he can build your character and he can make you ready to be presented before him as one that he can elevate that he can give kingship and authority to so do not fear uh, just smile, keep your joy and go through the process and the Lord is going to elevate you at the right time. God bless you, Rachel. Okay, Kina, this word is for you. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of two gears that are working together, but it's a new installation, so there's safety chalks between the gears so that it can't accidentally start. Now, that is the picture that I saw for you that that's where you're at. Your safety is still in place and it doesn't work. Everything is so said to be so safe that the Lord cannot start up the machine inside of you to work. And when that machine works, normally the first while the machine just measures and, and basically grinds off some of the pieces and just makes sure everything fits. And then after that, when, when that process is done, your machine runs good for many, many years. And I just see how the Lord says he's going to take out those safety blocks, meaning the comfort of religion is going to be removed and he's going to allow you to be exposed to new teachings new new ideas new visions and how it's just gonna in the beginning it's going to be like those gears working against each other it's gonna you're not sure what's going to happen but just give it a while you'll see eventually everything will start to mesh smoothly so that you have the understanding the revelation and the working of the what the lord wants in your life to function but not just that then i see an amplification where what you put in gets amplified so that's the purpose of this whole process is so that what you put in is actually more than doubled so that uh, when you speak to people the lord will just increase increase and increase be blessed yeah kina i also see along with this process that the lord is taking you through the lord is also putting his holy spirit power and passion inside of you he loves you very much. God bless you, Kina. So the next word is for Angeline. Uh, so Angeline, uh, I was praying for you already early this morning and I felt that the Lord said to me that He loves you and that you need to love yourself. And the Lord is helping you to get rid of the insecurities and He's giving you boldness and confidence to walk and to obey Him and to be a light that shines. And so the Lord doesn't want us to put our light underneath a bucket, but He wants us to shine from a high place where everyone can see the light of God. And the Lord says, I've put so many uh, talents and gifts and the goodness of God, the kindness of God on the inside of you. And sometimes you kind of block yourself because you don't have confidence. And so the Lord is just giving you that confidence and that boldness today. And I felt that the Lord says, as you start to give, uh, then the Lord is going to multiply and that's going to cause a, a process where there's going to be increase in your life. Okay. God bless you, Angeline. Okay, the next word is for Chukwani. Chukwani, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of how the Lord is working within you to create the Holy Trinity to have a strong stance, strong pillar, strong foundation where the knowledge that the Lord is busy putting inside of you is just going to create a tremendous foundation that even if earthquakes come, you will not be, um, even though you feel the shaking, you will not be shaken, you will not be destroyed and i just see how the lord is actually um, working a lot so it, it feels like you don't see the height you don't see the progress within you and you want to feel more and see more but actually the foundation is so big and then it tapers up so the height will come but for now it is a hard work in the foundation so that everything is still strong and secure be blessed hey to Kwani, uh, god loves you god bless you all right, so the next word is for Heidi. All right, uh, so Heidi, uh, uh, let me double check here. The Lord said to you that He is giving you financial breakthrough. He's giving you healing for your physical body. Uh, the Lord is strengthening you today and is giving you 
a mantle of wisdom. And then the Lord showed to me how he puts a seer anointing on you. Okay, so now you know, know the Nabi prophet is the one that flows, but the seer one is the one that the Lord shows different things and he looks and the Lord gives him encounters and then he can use that information to make decisions on what he's going to do or what he needs to speak to. And I felt that the Lord is giving you that anointing where you're going to have encounters with God. And sometimes it's going to be for you and sometimes it's going to be things that God is speaking to you that you can give to others again. God bless you, Heidi. Okay, the next word is for Mary Jane. Mary Jane, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just see how the Lord comes and He brings a tremendous work inside of you where you are blessed to speak to people, to give words of knowledge where you are just going to inspire a lot of people. Uh, don't keep the words for yourself because even though you've been through much, you've been through a lot of hardship, that is not for nothing. You can use that to bless other people. You can help them steer like a ship, steer through the rocks, through the difficult path so that they did not become shipwrecked even though you felt like you were shipwrecked the Lord rescued you so that you can help other people and just give uh, direction to people I see there's a lot of people around you that that doesn't have direction and just because they're going to meet with you and speak with you you will have wisdom just to get them going and give them the right direction be blessed Hey, awesome. Uh, Mary Jane, God bless you. Okay, so the next word is for Manuel. Manuel, the Lord is giving me a second chance. And I see a tree that was planted in the wrong place and now it was uprooted and the Lord planted it in a new place. So the first year you were planted and that year was a year of getting the roots to settle and to grow. And then on the second year you started to produce fruit. And I just felt that the Lord says don't be frustrated when you don't see the fruit come immediately because the Lord is establishing you. He has moved you. You're getting used to a new environment. But the Lord says the time of growth and fruitfulness is coming. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Evelyn. Evelyn, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw this picture of a, a sluice gates that is opening. Now they open so rapid that it creates a wave and that wave just pushes forward. I just see how there is in the beginning a lot of debris and that wave flows like a river and it just pushes everything out of the side and then once that hard work is done i just see how the river flows peacefully so yes work through it it's hard work um but i just see how the the, the river of god is going to flow peacefully in your life uh, there's a lot of things that is being shifted around and moved but don't focus too much on that just focus on uh, spending time with the Lord, loving the Lord because He's loving you tremendously. And I just see He's helping you to create that flow. Be blessed. Hello, Evelyn. Uh, God bless you. All right, so the next word is for uh, Corin van Seil. Okay, so Corin, the Lord showed to me uh, that He has given to you an administrator gifting. All right, so administration is really a strong thing in your life. Then the second thing that God showed me is he's, uh, He has made you a common sense leader. And I felt that the Lord says some people have to wait on the Lord for God to move and other people have to act in faith and then as they continue then the Lord shows up and the Lord manifests what He wants to do. And I felt that the Lord says this is a time for you to keep going, to act in faith and to 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 just take action and you'll see how the Lord will come if there needs to be a small course correction he will turn you he'll give you guidance he will even put people around you to help you but the Lord says move because I'm with you and I'm going to bless you wherever you go and the Lord even shows me like the Israelites with the the column of fire and a cloud by day so the Lord is going with you God bless you Corin. okay uh, Dominique Dominique the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of a uh, there's a lot of rubble like a bomb fell and exploded but you are raising a flag I see a very high flagpole on this flagpole you you raise a white flag now that is not to surrender but it's actually the flag of peace where you say I want peace not because you are defeated and you want to surrender no you want peace even though you can still carry on in this war but it feels like this war is senseless and I just see how the Lord gives you wisdom to work on peace because I see it is not who's going to win the battle it is who's going to act in peace who's going to make that decision to bring peace in and I see you're the one with wisdom where you'll say you know what even if I win this battle it's not going to be worth it to win it 
Uh, so I'm going to make peace and I'm going to make sure that restitution takes place. Now then I see when you make that decision, how the blessings of the Lord comes like a crown on you and, and just crowns you with His glory. And it's, it's going to bring tremendous peace and healing to you. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Dominique, uh, the Lord is giving you mentors in your life to love you and to encourage you and to give you guidance. But you're also going to grow and become a mentor in other people's lives. Hey, God bless you, Dominique. Hey family, it was wonderful for me and Ian to minister to you. If you'd also like to receive ministry in this way, then you can write your name in the comments and we will minister to you. Uh, you can go and check out Ian's YouTube channel at Heaven's Remnant. Uh, and then of course, I want to remind you to go and check out Unity with Heaven teaching channel. Uh, there's awesome teachings there. Uh, so um, we love and appreciate each one of you. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.